Heston Blumenthal's famous hidden orange Christmas pudding has sold out of her shops. What shall we do? We're going to have to try and make one because we can't go through Christmas without it, obviously. Okay, the hidden orange refers to a candied orange, something you can't buy easily in the shop, so I'm going to attempt to make one myself. Just piercing an orange, boiling it in water for 20 minutes, adding a spoonful of dark marmalade, a kilo of sugar. Take that back to the bulb and you have a lovely thick syrup. Lift out the orange, leave it to drain on a rack. So now we've made the candied orange, we can get on with the business of making the, the, the rest of a pudding. One grated carrot, one grated cooking apple, Bramley apple. With 500 grams of uh, mixed dried fruit and candied peel and 100 mils of beer, or you could use cider. Leave that to sit for about 10 minutes. Then you break in three eggs. One tablespoonful of black treacle. One hundred and fifteen grams of dark sugar. One and a half teaspoons of mixed spice. One hundred and fifteen grams of grated suet, beef or vegetable. One hundred and fifteen grams of ground almonds and one hundred and fifteen grams of plain flour, sifted. To so stir it well because there's nothing nastier in a Christmas pudding than to find a kind of pocket of white flour. So once you've given it a good stir, we need to prepare the pudding basin. So butter the pudding basin, fill the pudding basin to one third, press it firmly down, give it a little bang to settle it right down to the bottom of the basin. Now take the orange, The rest of the um, pudding mixture goes on the top. You need to cover the pudding. Fold this in half, a pleat like that. You need a pleat in the top because the pudding will rise as it cooks in the steamer and it will need to open out a bit. They're all secured with string. And this is now going to steam in simmering water with the lid on for a whopping great seven hours. Snip away the string. It looks quite normal at this stage, quite normal for Hester. Okay. A little bit stuck to the roof, but that's okay. So now the moment of truth, we find out, we find the orange, the hidden orange. It's going to fall out. So there we are, I think this has worked. We have a pudding with an orange inside it and having found the orange I'm not quite sure if we really want to find it or not. I mean at least it's not something nasty like an onion or a beetroot but we mustn't say that because it could give Hester Blumenthal some ideas. Mm -hmm.